Hey Aquarius, so sorry. Uh, so I'm hopefully going to be able to splice these two together. Um, the save battery or battery turn, plug in computer button came on, battery was dying. I went to plug it in and apparently I hit a button while I was plugging it in and click, it all went off or something happened and it all just went off. Um, so here we are. I just put your cards out and the only thing I've done so far is looked at the back. I haven't even really looked at the, the reading yet, except for the fact that someone else had this same card, the tower in the reverse in the center of their reading. And it had to be a water sign or maybe an earth sign because they're the only I've only done those two elements. I haven't done earth, I haven't done air and fire yet. So you're my first air sign. So somebody else, and now keep in mind, if it wasn't a water sign or an earth sign that had the tower reversed here, then it was one of my daily readings or my weekend readings. So it would have been like Thursday or the weekend. Okay, and that's just if it wasn't another... I don't think it was Thursday because it ended up being the center of a reading. And on Thursday, on dailies, we only do six, right? So if it wasn't water or earth, like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, it would have been the weekend reading, I believe. And I can't remember what cards I used for the weekend reading, but it was the same card. So I tend to believe that it was a week, a weekly reading for another sign. I'm just telling you guys in case you want to go back and watch it. But anyway, that's the only thing I covered so far. And then blink, everything went out. I'll try to splice them together. But if I forget, please just understand I have popped these all out the way that I pop out all my decks, all my cards. When I look at the past, and this is all I've really looked at so far, I feel like you're um, trying to get clarity. And here's the sun right there. Like you're trying to get clarity. See how the Eight of Swords she's like bound and blindfolded and she's not sure what to do. She's trying to see something clearly. I feel like it's about a partnership, some kind of a partnership. And you're trying to make a decision with the lovers as a decision card. And we have, you know... We reiterate that with the Seven of Cups, which also can be a decision card. You're trying to make some kind of a decision about something or someone from the past, Six of Cups, or even some kind of a soulmate that could have walked away or you could have walked away from. All right, we have disappointment with the Nine of Cups reversed, and there you are reversed, the King of Swords reversed. It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. I really feel like somebody here, a tower came down in their life. Somebody walked away. I feel like it has something to do with this Queen of Cups. This could be you. This could be them. I feel like it's King of Swords, Queen of Cups. Whichever one's you is you. And the other person is coming through as some kind of a soulmate to you or person. That you guys had something happened. Um, there could have been. And look, Five of Cups says this has been disappointing. This is a grief card. So um, Two of Swords says I'm really trying to make this decision. And we saw that back here. All these dis all this need to make a decision to see something clearly to actually take an action. Knight of Wands and stop holding back the devil uh, in reverse, thankfully. I feel like something happened and somebody has been holding back and protecting themselves ever since. Um, and now we have an opportunity. I don't know if we have an opportunity to put work into this or if this could have been a work situation I don't know but there's definitely it looks to me like it was a partnership between two people and something happened so let's just jump right into it and find out um spirit and angels anyone oh please 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 excuse my nails and my hands I've got blood blisters and I've got nails destroyed here been doing a lot of physical labor we're still cleaning up after the hurricane guys i mean what a nightmare anyway you don't need to hear my woes i'm good we're good we have a home we're happy we have friends that lost everything i mean just trying to help where we can and do what we can so please excuse the fact that you have to deal with my ugly hands and nails i have no time for doing nails and even if i did them they'd be ruined five minutes after your reading when i go get back to work so so sorry anyway let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for this aquarius reading what do we need to know aquarius reading what do we need to know here what's important aquarius reading okay this reading could resonate now or later or it could resonate at any other time. It's for anyone with Aquarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Aquarius reading for whatever reason they're guided here. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's talk about the tower. What about the tower in reverse in the center of this reading? What about the tower in reverse? What do we need to know about it? What's important? Okay. 
what do we need to know about it? What's important? Tower in the reverse. Okay, there we go. All right, wow. All right, wow. Okay, so we have, you know, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords and the Phoenix rising from the ashes here coming out of the back of this um, nave. We, we don't have, okay, I'm so sorry. This is the Witch's Tower and this is the Vice Versa Tarot where the side we see will be the side we read. Okay, they have a different perspective on each side. Very genius deck. Um, when I look at this, so this is the regular, what we would call the page of wands in other decks, but they don't have young immature energies or children in this deck. It's all adults, right? So they call them the knave. Um, there's something going on that lights a fire behind this knave and it's Phoenix rising from the ashes and look at the eagle bringing in the reef of victory and the sword of truth. And look at, this was not an easy victory. This is all about victory and success and freedom and truth, right? But this is the easy side. This side, someone really went through the trenches. Look at all the mountains they had to climb. And they are the phoenix rising from the ashes, right? Whew. All right, so whatever happened here, boom, caused someone to really have to go through a lot, okay? So we have someone here. It almost has the energy to me of this wounded warrior right there. This is someone who's been through a lot and they rise anyway and they succeed anyway and they come back from whatever it is that was so difficult so let's find out the knight of wands says there's about to be an action being taken here as we come into the reading right so give me one card on this knight of wands here um okay well there we go we have justice and we have the queen of cups reversed all right so now the queen of cups is reversed twice here i feel like she's very emotional she could have went through something she could have gone through some kind of a loss she could have um experienced something now this could be you this could be her i don't know which one's you right her him they right they them whoever this is um, we have some kind of a balance coming in for this person. I feel who's been through something. It's like almost like exactly like the Phoenix rising from the ashes. We return to, it's like returning to balance in our lives, returning to action in our lives, returning to forward movement in our lives after something painful or hurtful or hard, heavy, a lot of mountains to climb, right? Happened in the past. Um, there's some kind of justice and balance coming in. Um, let's get a little look at the shadow side here. I started to shuffle and immediately the devil popped out on my hand. That is the devil. I put it back in because I hadn't even asked a question yet. But shadow side reverse, devil reverse, same thing. What is the shadow side reverse here? It's somebody's getting out from under something that held them down, held them back. Yeah, absolutely. Coming back out. This is somebody who shut down completely, went within and stayed, you know, to themselves, held back, held back, held back. And now they're ready to come out again, um, back to action, return to action. I don't know what happened here, but I feel like whoever this queen is, she's gone through something. It was painful. It was hurtful. Tell me about the five of cups. What about the five of cups? Been in, like, it almost feels like she's been in some kind of, um, but it definitely was heavy, whatever it is. I was going to say a depression, but it was because she's had to climb so many mountains um had to defend herself whatever this is tell me about the five of cups this isn't just because of depression something happened here tell me about the five of cups grief loss sadness yeah look at that um somebody who is um manifesting the ship to come in manifesting their um this feels like someone like see how they're wearing the magician cape and they're levitating that yin yang sphere and they are there's like um uh their staff their wand is on fire this person is healing and manifesting new balance and opportunities into their life listen this person might have had to take a step back for a while because of something heavy they were going through or maybe it's multiple things they have gone through um, tell me about the two of swords. What do we need to know about it? Because someone here is trying to figure something out and make a decision. We have two cards of somebody being blindfolded. The justice card and the two of swords. Did we have the eight of swords back here too? 
Yeah, and the Eight of Swords. All these cards say I'm blindfolded and I can't really do anything but trust my intuition as I'm moving forward in my life. Let's look at the Two of Swords because this is a decision that has to be made here. Now, this could be you, Aquarius, or this could be this um, somebody else around you, most likely a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, tell me, uh, Libra is here very strongly, too, so they could have Libra placements or vice versa, right? Tell me about Two of Swords. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Wow. Another Libra card, too. There's lots of Libra coming through in this reading for me, um, but... You know, like I said, this person could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or Libra. Um, or any of these could be your own energies. Keep in mind, you could be um, an Aquarius with any of these things I'm talking about. Or you could just ignore the signs I'm talking about altogether if you're not really good with astrology. And right now we're in Libra season. So all of this could be happening in Libra season, which could be the reason why all this Libra is coming through in your reading. Okay, so remember that. All right, so let's keep going here. Um, and it may well be a water sign that you're dealing with, or it could this could be your energy as well. You could be an Aquarius Pisces uh, cusper. All right, so let's keep going. All these are just speculations, guys. They don't have to mean a darn thing to you. Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's look at, so something about uh, a decision to get in the boat and move towards peace, a decision to move together possibly. Um, if you look at this, these people decide to move together forward. Um, and she's holding a big cup and going into the unknown on this side. On this side, we're moving towards peace. After we didn't know something, now we know. It's almost like you were here where you were going to head into the unknown and you didn't have all the answers, but now you do. I'm so sorry for all the noise, you guys. Okay. Um, so where were we? Yeah, so this is someone who didn't know where they were going and now is going to go there anyway. Like they're using their intuition. All the blindfolds everywhere in this reading say that someone's needing to use their intuition to make a decision to bring a balance and take an action and move forward. Manifesting with spirit. This is going to be victorious. It's like Phoenix is going to rise from the ashes. There's some kind of victory coming in. The victory reef is on its way here. Um, and it comes in with some kind of truth or some kind of clarity or someone making a bold move or moving forward where they didn't before. Let me look at this Eight of Cups. So why is the Eight of Cups here? The Eight of Cups represents leaving emotional baggage behind but moving towards something better. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's a decision. Literally, someone has to make a decision, two of pentacles, and someone's really juggling this decision. We see it everywhere. It's here. I need to make a decision. I'm not sure what to do. It's here. I need to make a decision. I'm not sure what to do, but I'm going to move forward, okay? Um, you know, we have someone manifesting. We have someone deciding they're not going to hold back anymore, and they're going to move forward out of nowhere. This actually is really great energy. Um, everywhere I look, there's someone getting fixing to get ready to make some kind of a decision um, that they really have been thinking about or contemplating on. There's a victory in all this. There's like a phoenix rising from the ashes and victory in all this. And that's the focal point of your whole reading, re recovering from what was once a tower in your life. Something, you know, when we say tower, it was an event that, you know, felt terrible. Um, an event where, you know, something fell apart, but we're going to do something about it. All right, tell me about the Queen of Cups here reversed. I really feel this person's got a lot of, um, something's going on, whether it's you or them, there's been something very emotional that happened to them. The, the tower really is about something that, that happened to them that caused a lot of loss and sorrow and sadness. And, you know, this very well could be you, Aquarius. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reversed. What do we need to know about it? Wow. Wish fulfillment. Wow. The Page of Cups. Wow. Oh, wow. This is really nice energy. The Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Um, so here's the thing. So either this person is wish fulfillment for you or you are wish fulfillment for them. Or, the, you know, if this is you, there's something that's been so disappointing for you. 
and now there's some kind of beautiful um, new opportunity. This is new energy coming in. Could it be love? Maybe. Um, I'm not sure it's love, but it's something very, uh, now could be, could be someone has been pining for someone or missing someone and they're finally going to make the move to go in and tell them how they feel. I don't know. There could have been at one time a breakup and somebody coming back in to try and, um, because it's someone, it could be someone from your past. Didn't we see the six of cups? Yeah, right there. This could be someone from your past or this could be past life soulmate. Um, but what I really see is this Queen of Cups having new opportunities um, and to uh, to heal from whatever this is disappointment that has been caused. There's a balance coming in. There's a return to uh, action. There's also no more holding back. Now, I don't know, again, Aquarius, if this is you or the other person. Okay, but either way, whether you're going to go in and revive something or you're going to take an action towards this person you could be this coming in with this cup towards this person who you deem to be your wish fulfillment they could be a water sign cancer Pisces, or scorpio because i feel like this is you aquarius Libra, gemini and i don't care what the genders are right so if the genders are opposite they're opposite um but let's get a little look and they don't have definitely don't have to be a, a cancer pisces or scorpio or they do, definitely don't have to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or any of the other signs we called out. Okay, so remember that, that they're just what I see and I like to give them to you. Libras here very strongly as well. And like I said, we're in Libra season and that could be why. Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles here. What do we need to know? Any of these um, signs I call out could be your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, or any other thing going on around you. All right, let's look at um, Eight of Pentacles as well. Um, what about the Eight of Pentacles here for this Aquarius reading? What about Eight of Pentacles? This is like, I want to put work in and I want to fight for this. I want to give you the cup. I want to put in the work, Eight of Pentacles, and I want to fight for this, the Wounded Warrior, the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands together. What do we need to know? Aquarius reading. Yeah, absolutely, because I mourn this relationship. Somebody really is mourning this relationship or this person. There's someone here who, that's the Five of Cups again, and the Four of Wands, you know, the, that relationship. Somebody very much wants to fight for this relationship. Ace of Cups right there at the bottom. And, you know, they really need to make this decision to the, the uh, Two of Swords. Look at this behind it. Oh, my God. Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords right behind it. Like, like I have to make a decision whether I want the ace of cups and I have to free myself from the trap where I keep thinking there's nothing I can do about it because there actually is I just have to make a decision it's everywhere look at all the decision cards to move forward I have to make a decision to go after uh, what it is that I want I feel like over and over again I don't know which one you are Aquarius but somebody here is contemplating so much leaving the emotional baggage behind leaving whatever was painful from the past behind manifesting in this wish fulfillment that they really do want i mean this is really wish fulfillment this queen of cups or with the queen of cups and you now the queen of cups could just as well be a king of cups uh, he she they doesn't matter okay um i really feel like one of you is contemplating on I want this and I'm willing to do what it's what the work I'm willing to climb the mountains or I'm ready now to you know light that fire under my butt and take that action we talked about to balance this out and come out of the holding back no longer holding back I mean this these two like this is holding back holding back holding back well this one actually you don't flip you turn it this way but you got them both in the reverse saying I'm not holding back anymore I'm ready to go in and I want what I'm trying to call in. I want what I'm calling in. I want to manifest moving forward with this person, both of us together moving forward. I'm not sure what this is, but somebody desperately wants to put in the work to revive something that they've missed. Guys, let me know what this is. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm going to pull you a couple of angel cards here. Angels, what do we need to know? Aquarius reading. Nice reading, Aquarius. It just shows that somebody really does miss someone. 
um, and wants to bring it back together. Um, sisterhood, brotherhood. This could be a friend. I mean, it doesn't always have to be love, right? Humor, sisterhood, brotherhood. You definitely are soulmates. You have it here and you have it here. Um, whatever kind of soulmates you are doesn't matter. Being open is the key. Speaking a truth, telling someone, stop holding back and going in and saying it, right? Whether it's you or them. I don't know which one's which. Um, purification says, take a spiritual bath before you go in. Um, to speak to this person, I just feel like um, anything you could do to get yourself good and cleansed and grounded. I feel like this has been a long time coming or them, you, like I said, uh, you might need to answer somebody who comes in. You might be the one receiving all this information and you might have to give them an answer, right? We have willingness and balance. Wow. We saw the balance right off the bat in the beginning of the reading and somebody's willing and ready to go in and fight for it. Somebody wants to bring this union back together, whether this is your best friend, this is the love of your life. I feel like it's definitely a love relationship for most of you. And there's that Ace of Cups, right? So, but it comes with a decision. Someone here has to make the decision to not hold back, go in and speak and be open. Wow. And somebody's really thinking about it. Like they're contemplating this. Um, let me know, Aquarius, is it you or is it the other person who is fixing to get ready to go in and go into a soulmate that there's something happened between you guys and go in and tell them how they how you feel um somebody here's ready to do that um or at least contemplating doing that i think they're going to i really do i hope this um makes sense to you guys please do let me know i'd love to hear from you guys this would be this there's nothing ugly about this relationship at all i see nothing except for something happened and there was um there was a tower moment. I don't know if there was a breakup. I don't know, but you are not karmic to each other. You are not murky to each other, um, you know, that I can see anyway. I see that something happened and there's been disappointment and a, like you guys went your separate ways. This very well could be like a best friend. I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Please do comment down below. This could be a family member even. Um, if you would please comment down below, I'd love to hear from you and don't forget to like the video. It helps so much. Okay, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.